Welcome to the Digital How-To Series. Today I'm going to give you an explanation of some of the key metrics that are used within Google Analytics. Let's start in this section here. So most frequently people use the Acquisition section and the Channels section where it breaks down the performance of each channel. A channel meaning direct visitors, people coming directly to your website by typing in your website URL, or from paid search, i.e. search network keyword campaigns, display activity, email, whatever it is that you've defined and what campaigns you've got running. So let's start here. So the first thing here in acquisition is users. That's basically the closest approximation to people. So you'll see here users, and then it breaks it down into new users. So that's the percentage of all of those 66,950 that are brand new. Obviously the difference between these two numbers is people that are repeat visitors. And then we have sessions. Sessions is basically how many um, browser windows are kept open on a visit. So a user may have multiple sessions, meaning they might visit more than once in the date period that you're running your uh, report for. This is why the um, user's number is nearly always um, lower than the session's number. So in this case, 66,950 users in this date period, of which 61,000 of those were new users. And of all of those users, i.e. the 66,950, there was a total of 87,000 sessions. Just moving on now into the behavior section. So a key metric that people often talk about in digital marketing is bounce rate. Bounce rate is essentially a metric which measures people that visit the site, arrive on a page, they do not consume any further pages, so they visit that page, and then they immediately leave the site. That basically means that they've bounced without consuming any more than one page. The ne next metric you'll see alongside bounce rate is pages per session. So if the bounce rate is 100%, it would mean that only one page has been consumed by all of the visitors, and then everybody's left the site. So in this case, we can see that the bounce rate was 46%, meaning that 46 out of um, 100 people would leave the site consuming one page and then not consuming any further pages. That also means that 54%, or approximately 54%, consumed more than one page, which is why the number of pages per session is higher than one. So this is telling us that on average, uh, people consumed 5.36 pages in their um, session. The next one is average session duration. So this is telling us that on average, uh, people spent 3 minutes and 11 seconds in their session duration whilst consuming an average of 5.36 sessions. So underneath here, you'll then see that those metrics get aggregated at the top level across all of the channels. And then more usefully, down below, it gives you those met metrics split out by the different sources of traffic. And that is the basic Google Analytics metrics explained.